let's get started with BigQuery SQL. The first thing we need to do is log into the Google account. After you're logged in, you'll need to navigate to console.cloud.google.com BigQuery. And after you navigate to this side, it'll open up the Google Cloud Platform interface. In this interface, if this is the first time you're logging in, you would not see any projects here where I, you see the BigQuery sandbox written. If that is the case, then you can click on that and click on new project. And this will take you to the menu to create a new project where you can put in the project name right here and click on create. I've already created the project. Therefore, I do not have to create a new project in this particular case. And it is already listed here. It would be blank if there were no project created. Now on this side in the Explorer, we see there's this triangle. If you click on this triangle, you'll get, uh, after you save any queries, you'll see them listed here. Uh, for me, it says saved queries 44. And then this is the sandbox, which is the data set and within which there will be various tables. Now the BigQuery that we'll be using in this case is without using any credit card to set it up. So this is the free version, that's the sandbox. And therefore we can create these tables. However, we would not be able to input any values into those tables. And that is perfectly okay because for what we are trying to do is learn how the queries work and that we can uh, do using open source, uh, like open source data sets that are available. And to get to those data sets, if you click on add data and click on explore public data sets, it'll open up this menu. And from this, you can click on any uh, data set of interest. Let's say if we click on the COVID-19 data set and it'll give us the information. And if you click on view data set, it'll open the information about what the data set, uh, uh, actual data set is about. And that information will show up in this uh, interface for Google Cloud Platform. Taking a while. Okay, so there it is. So we have the date created when the data set was created, etc., and all the information. So apart from this, other points to note in this particular interface is the editor. So this is the editor tab. If you need to create a new editor, you simply click on this plus sign. You have the editor too. And you can rename this one. Uh, when you click on, so let's say if we write a query, select, select one semicolon, then, then click on run to run this query. We'll see the output down below. And here we see one as the output. Here, if we give it a column name as column col, again run the same query. Uh, we see that a new column, a table is created with a name col and value one in the first row. On the right hand side, we see this query will process zero bytes when run. So here we get an estimate of how much memory is being used. And after this query is written, you can click on save, click on save query. And here we can specify the name of the query that we would like that note, uh, that notebook to have. Uh, so when we come back and refer to it, we know that this query is saved in this notebook. For now, I won't save this query, uh, but once you save that query, it will appear in on the left hand side in the saved queries list. So as you can see here, I've saved, uh, saved several queries that are commonly used. And so that's about it for how to uh, get into Google Cloud Platform and navigate through this space. One final detail that I'd like to mention is down here, if you click on execution details, it gives information about the time it took to run the query. And uh, as you can see, time, elapsed time is there and nine, 192 milliseconds and down below we have uh, other information about query processing time. So the idea when this is to use is the idea is that your query should take as little time as possible. So if it's a long query, it takes a lot of time, 
then you maybe there are certain points in this query that could be optimized to bring these runtime numbers down all right so that was it for this very first uh video in this series on getting started with bigquery in the next video we'll start with the clause or commands and the first one we'll tackle is the select command please like share and subscribe thank you